Now I could say that was the end, but that would be a lie. <laughs> In order to get the true ending to this game, you have to beat the game four times. So as you can see, Mr. Imogen, Im, Imagine, Imogen has finished the game. Now to move on to the other three. Also welcoming to the mumble, Mr. Megajer, Mi, Mrs. Megajer. Okay, um, those of you in the chat, I need a vote here. I am going to do one more run tonight. I'm going to let you guys decide who I should beat the game with next. Hmm. Comparing to the other game, I have beaten the game with Mario. All that's left is Luigi, Toad, and the Princess. Princess. Princess? Alright. Uh, let's Celestria. Oh, Celestria's gonna vote. Okay. Yes. We have two votes for the princess. Alright. No, it's question mark. <laughs> yeah, the... As I mentioned a moment ago, these these are essentially the same characters from Super Mario 2 over here in the States. I've already beaten the game with with the one that, that's that ha that's the same as Mario. All that's left is the Princess, Luigi, and Toad. Uh it's a vote. Yes, it's a vote. Yes. We have two for Princess. Anyone else? Echo, is that coming from my side? Um, it might be me. I've got the mumble turned up a little too high. Actually, my microphone's up a little high as well. Let me turn that down a little bit. Maybe that'll fix things. Maybe. Possibly. Ooh. 
we have two votes for the princess, one vote for Luigi, or Lugi as as either guy types out. <laughs> Funny thing, when I was wee little, that's how I used to pronounce him, Lugi. Okay, two votes for Princess, one vote for Luigi, going once, going twice. Oh, sorry, my microphone was my microphone was a little too low. Two votes for Princess, one vote for Luigi, going once, going twice. Giving ten seconds for everybody to vote. The echo so it is coming from me, huh? There's a little bit. A little teeny tiny bit? Yeah, the... The voice recognition... Will, um... Will cause echo. Uh-huh. It, it starts to, um... Let you... It'll, it'll start to... Open up your mic too much. Okay, um, I think it's unanimous. We will be going with the princess character. Her name is Lena. Yay, Princess Lena. Um, you may need to tune your voice a little bit before you before you're good to go. Thank you. 
I'll be back. I didn't hear you, Mega Jerk.
Returned! Alright, try it again. Hello? Yo, Mega Jerry. It's about goddamn time. Yeah, Mum. Oh, by the way, Mumble is a fickle mistress. I apologize. By the way, what, what's up? Uh, well, I was about to say if, uh. What was I about to say? <laughs> um, oh yeah, if uh, you hear some yelling and screaming, uh, that's my family watching football. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, they're watching the uh, Florida Gators, or as I like to call them, the Gators. Gators. Yeah, exactly. You ever watch uh, Traductive Tasty? Who are you talking to? Uh, me uh, Megan. You. Have I ever watched what now? Turducken is tasty. Every uh, Wednesday night on uh, LordCat.com. It's oh, a it's uh, that thing. yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a weekly podcast about about uh, mostly football, but they do branch out into other sports as well. But it's mostly football. No, I'm not a sports guy. You're not. Huh. Oh, by the way, I love how I can hear myself. <laughs> no problem. That's mostly my fault. I seriously thought uh, there was some echoing going on. I seriously thought that was my fault. That I was messing around and something happened. Yeah, it's mostly my fault because the, the microphone is in front of the speakers. And I wish I could do something about that, but it's just the way the room is laid out. He's got a tiny ass room. <laughs> You know, that reminds me of uh, this show that I used to do called the Something Something Show. This was back when I thought I was an internet DJ. And uh, I tried to get it going. It was supposed to be a live show. And uh, eventually, one day, I just decided to take my uh, cassette player and mm -hmm. uh, just set the microphone in front of that. Nah. Just play music that way. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? It did not. <laughs> I remember one of the guys at uh, the uh, station, uh, whatever it was, uh, he said, you know, this isn't going to work out too well for us. I think they only had a uh, a uh, two song per limit rule or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, boy. Mmm, that's good. Kraken and Dr. Pepper. You know, hearing my voice back, I do kind of sound like Reese a little bit. A little bit. He's a little bit higher. I don't know what it is. Kinda, sorta, yeah. So, um, and where do you hail from, sir? Gainesville, Florida. Gotcha. <laughs> um, he comes from he comes from the mountains. I up, come uh, from I come from the, I come from the mountain state of West Virginia. <laughs> you can can you just can you just feel the excitement? I wasn't aware Reese was a mountain man. Uh-uh. I'm a mountain man. <laughs> Not really. He doesn't sound like one. He just lives there. I've just lived here for 35 years. <laughs> I just can't help but find it funny that how all of our voices are, uh... Like, uh, was it two minutes behind? Mm -hmm. Really? Two minutes behind? Ooh. Ooh, pardon me. <laughs> yeah, the delays. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta love that little bit of a 30 to, well, not 30, let's see, 5 to 30 second delays on Twitch. Of course, one time I had a delay of up, up to two minutes. It was horrible. So horrible, I almost sneezed.
So, uh, so introduce yourself. What, 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 what do you like? Uh, well, you probably already know me. Uh, I am, uh, Jeremy Garrett on, uh, that other message board. Oh, that place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that place. Oh, boy. I'm afraid to ask. Did I, um, did I burn a bridge during the whole Gamergate discussion? <laughs> Actually, uh, I have something to say about that. Um, that means I don't really care about it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, like I said in the uh, thread, uh, I don't know why the word gate is involved. Um, Cause fucking Watergate, no, I bullshit. It's not Watergate. It's a bunch of gamers yelling at each other. I know it is. True, true. It. very true. However, we've we've got this stupid thing in our culture now to where every time there's a scandal, they've got to put gate at the end of it. I, I don't understand it. It's retarded. I actually uh, read a Wikipedia page uh, about every single scandal that ends with the word gate. Mm. And uh, they actually named the person that started it. I can't remember his name, but... Yeah, if I were to talk to him, I'd say, you know, thanks for, uh, you know, trying to uh, bastardize uh, our language. Yeah. But it is a scandal. And... And all. Well, I like how uh, our conversation from earlier is trying to get in the way of our conversation now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, anyway. But yeah, I s the way I see it is we're gamers and we should be gamers. We shouldn't let uh, all these politics get in the way. Just, you know, let's just play some games. Yeah. I miss that. I really I, do. I, I miss ha not having these discussions. <sighs> and being able to play games. Doesn't matter who you are, you are a game. By the way, someone just said uh, it's Gate Gate, the gating gate. <laughs> that would be Hater Guy. <laughs> That's yep. a good one. Gate, gate, the gamer, gate, 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 gate. By the way, don't you just love these bare bone graphics compared to the other game? Yeah, to be fair, this this was the original game before. Uh, be well, yeah. Before we, they decided to bring it here by slapping Mario's grill all over it. Oh, by the way, you guys were talking about that uh, blackface uh, block earlier. Um, uh -huh. I actually have something that's worse than that. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Square's Tom Sawyer. Oh, there's a character yeah. in that game. I've heard of who, it. Who, uh, the most racist, probably the most racist character in any video game. I mean, well, I mean they have these dialogue boxes and uh, his picture comes up, he seriously blends in to Dialogue Box. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not only that, but they decided to give him the biggest, reddest, most chapped lips you could ever imagine. It's, it's worse than uh, what you guys were talking about. It's worse than the original Oil Man. Huh. Yeah, uh, it's... I'm not surprised that that game's Japanese only. <laughs> what was that for? The original oil man, yeah. Yeah. The sad part is I, I never got around the play and powered up, but I know exactly what he's referring to. <laughs> It's a good game, and actually, uh, that game has the uh, best pro man that you could play. I mean, he's seriously overpowered. It's almost ridiculous, actually. So, pretty much the fire button equals I win? 
Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not surprised. One of these days, I will get the timing down, and I will break down the walls of Jericho. Yeah, that's um, funny, I, uh... Hmm? I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> saying, uh, technically, many wrestlers have broken down that wall. <laughs> the fourth wall? Or fifth wall that we don't know of? Hmm. No, it's a wrestling thing. Like, uh, grab. Excuse me. There will be no excuse. You must go to the Lord Cat chat room and, and watch the strawberry video. Nope. No. Yes. <laughs> no. No, I think he can do without that shit. <laughs> It's, it, it's... Uh, I had to try. No. No, you don't. Do it. Not even... No. no. Now, uh... In uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, could you get across that pit? Um, if you ran and, and jumped, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought, because I remember looking at a page. Uh, it had the back and forth of this game and the other one. And yeah, they mentioned that. Yeah, the problem is that uh, you can't run in this game, so it, 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 it creates a problem. Yeah. And I think that's why they put down in, in the uh, in the Super Mario Bros. 2 Inside Out Guide by Nintendo Power for uh, 4 3. They, they put down a section that says, Not even the princess can make it here. And I think that's because they didn't try running and floating. Speaking of Nintendo Power, have you read the last issue? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, I'm going to spoil something for you then. Uh, <gasps> Spoilers! You that, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you remember that uh, comic that they used to have? Uh, what was it called? Howard uh, Nestor. and Nestor. Howard and Nestor, yes. Well, uh, I think it's Howard and his son. And uh, they have a whole room dedicated to Nintendo. And I think uh, Howard says something like, uh, Now all this is yours, or something like that and then uh, they take one last look at it and then they close the door and then that's it that's how they end uh, Nintendo Power I thought that was a nice little touch they ended they ended Nintendo Power yeah they uh, that was uh, a couple of years ago they replaced it with uh, I huh. think it's Nintendo Force I have no idea what that bag's like, but, um... Is it a... is it a newsletter that they... Or is it an actual print magazine? I think it's, uh, print and online. I don't know, it's been a while since I looked at it. I'm not surprised. Uh, uh online websites have pretty much taken over, and it looks like they're here to stay. Of course, of course, of course, there is the next logical step: microchip implants that automatically beam in every last bit of information directly into your skull. They'd still be the internet. I don't see why we can't have both. Maybe that's just me. But... No, it's it's it it is. It's like the chip would be connected to the internet. Yeah, but it would be about... directly wired and not not totally free. Yeah, I wasn't even talking about chips. Uh, I know. I, I don't know about any of that. Don't mind me. I'm I'm rambling. 
Light and derpy, as you guys would say. Yes. Rather derp, yeah. Where did that come from? Um, did it come from Urban Dictionary? It sounds like it'd be off that website. Yeah, it sounds like it would. Because I haven't really... I haven't really looked into the origin. Um, the the origin of derp pretty much goes goes something like this. Derp. Ah. Okay. All right. I think we get it. I I think we get it. So it didn't come from your fierce leader. No. No. No, he he merely co-opted it. So pretty much, it came from any cartoon character. I don't even know if it came from a cartoon character. <laughs> the internet produces weird things. That much I'll say. Hey, it just came off of. Dark, and then somebody gets dark. Speaking of back and forth, this audio. The audio? All yeah. the, the mumble audio? Yeah. Oh, my apologies. Mm. My apologies because damn it, it tasted so good. Yeah. What? It was three different kinds of chicken. Come on. Mm, no. Oh, don't tell me you never had Chinese. I had Chinese. I had Chinese. But, uh. Yeah. I'm used to American chicken myself. American. Yeah, American. Merku. Oh, girl. Eh, I wouldn't even go that far. <laughs> I am. <laughs> God, what a mess this has turned into. Um, generally the, um, kind of mess, I don't know, Start. You think this has turned into a mess? Um, check out the general chat every night. <laughs> it, 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 oh boy. Are you talking about the Twitch chat or the mumble chat? The mumble chat. Okay, uh, actually, when I first read that there was a mumble, uh, I told myself, what the hell is a mumble? I thought it was another word for the Twitch chat. Nah. Shows how little I know. Yeah, mumble <laughs> is our little alternative to Skype. Yeah, at first I thought that maybe I could get on, uh, one of these videos through Skype, but guess not. And to be honest, I do have Skype. It's just I, I would rather use Mumble because everybody's everybody here is using it. I I don't yep. know very many of the uh, of the Daria fandom these days who's using Skype, other than a select few, and we don't really talk to each other all that much. So what's the point? I mean, I've only talked to uh, Michelle once, and I've never once got to talk to Kara. I remember I uh, talked to uh, Britta Sparrow on, uh, I'm sorry, Sparrow on Skype a few times. She's Kara, right? And uh, I remember there was a virtual, actually a couple of virtual Daria cons. Uh, I think in uh, July, 
And a few of the people were there. Uh, Greta. Um, I can't remember uh, the rest of the people there, but uh, it was an alright time. Okay, I wish it would happen a lot more often, but uh, hey, what can you do? I think you all should come on to the Mumble and, and join us. Have it be like a uh, Daria Lord Cat crossover? Uh, more like a merging of the fandoms. Daria. I wonder how that would go. I, I, I mean, I think it would. It would I think it would, it would work like a like like a like a dream marriage. Now I have to point out, I don't really know a lot about the Lord Cat fandom, so no, I really don't know how they will uh, refer to this video called the Strawberry Video. Now, okay, what is a Strawberry Video? Now the Strawberry Video is the main guy was making like a joke video. Oh, that's not how you eat a strawberry. I'll show you how to eat a strawberry. He takes a bite out of both strawberries and then puts them on his nipples and starts gyrating around and then ends up eating them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, Daria folks won't appreciate that. I just got a feeling. It's just silly. It's just and to be fair, I, I've come to realize they don't really appreciate a lot of things. It's another reason why I left. It's just well, they appreciate some things. I mean, I don't have a problem with them. No. And to be quite honest, uh, they do have uh, kind of a twisted sense of humor, so I don't know, maybe I might be wrong, maybe there may be a few people there that might uh, find that hilarious. I'm not quite sure anymore. I did. I tried a, a little test run on, uh, the, on the message board. I showed them... I showed them one of uh, one of one of uh, J one of Jason's uh, log entries under the fuck you dot lord cat dot com. They didn't quite uh, paper pusher didn't quite like it all that much. Of course, keep in mind this was this was still under the cusp of the whole spooning <coughs> incident. They didn't really take too kindly to the idea of him of uh what he, what he said indirectly about spooning. Well, you mentioned uh, Paper Pusher, so this has to be way before my time. Really? Only two, two, two years ago is before your time? That was two years ago? I thought that the Paper, pu uh, paper Pusher left uh, way longer than two years ago. Uh, I meant to say the board in general. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, the paper pusher's been, uh, he's been off that message board for a long time. Now, I will mention, um, one of, one of, uh, one of the regulars has come to join the Mafia. I don't know if you know him or not, he's, he goes by the name of JJXP, he's a really cool fella. That screen name sounds familiar. Yeah, he mostly frequented uh, my girlfriend's forum. The Sheep's Fluff. It was, it was like a sister site to Paper Pusher. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. But yeah, I just noticed out of the blue that he happened, happened to be in the chat room. I was like, oh, cool. Someone I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Has he, uh, has he done, like, uh, any artwork or, uh, stories or something like that? Because I'm trying to think of, uh, where else I know him from. 
Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't tell you. I've, I've, if he has written works, I, I wouldn't know of it. No, he said written and art, like art, like drawing. I think he has, though. You know, I just realized I said Sparrow, and I thought I said Sparrow when I didn't. Spira. What the hell was I thinking? Spare rub? Huh? <laughs> uh, I, was, I was talking about Brit.